Hey, so I'm Nicole Hacko, and today we have Ron Cardez here from Ecole Saint Germain. And so we're talking about how everybody's habits have changed this school year, like with some kids having the buses, some kids not having it now, there's more kids walking, everything's different with like pickups and drop offs. So, how can the community and everybody help keep all the kids safe and know all these differences? Well, I think it's important for people to pay attention, especially when they're driving in school zones. If you're going to be dropping your child off at school, uh, it's really important that you're very attentive to the area around you. There's kids that could be wandering uh, on either side of the street, looking to cross the street. Uh, so respect the speed limits that are imposed on, in those areas. Yeah. Uh, also, the bus loop is very busy. During the morning, we have six buses that come in between 8 and 8.30, transporting almost two, over 200 kids. That's a lot. So there's a lot of kids coming here on, in different means. Yeah. And uh, we're fortunate that we have a very friendly neighbor in our area that has offered us their parking lot as a safe drop-up zone. So if you look next to the school, or St. Timothy's Church, they, uh, they encourage us to use the parking lot in the morning and, and this way children don't have to cross the street in order to get to the school grounds. And so that's probably the safest way to do the drop off. Yeah. Uh, but we also ask that families respect the handicapped parking zones because we want to make sure the church still has access to those spots if yeah. they need them during those morning and, and afternoon uh, drop off and pick up times. Right. And so have you found like there's are there a lot more kids walking to school right now? I, I think there are some changes in habits for sure. There's uh, some more kids that are walking, some that are taking their bikes. Uh, definitely a lot more parents dropping kids off in their cars as well. So people are finding alternate means of transportation if they were unable to accommodate uh, busing in the schedules that were provided. Yeah. Um, but uh, it, it's, it's, it, there's always been a lot of, of movement in this school. We have 500 students, so no matter, even if I bus 250 yeah. kids, there's still 250 more that have to come in some, from some other means. Right. And so uh, we just want to make sure we're, we're, we're being very safe when, and cautious when we're driving in these areas. For sure. And so then that applies to every school in every neighborhood, right? It's just to be aware of extra little feet that might be on the roads, anything like that for all these pickup and drop offs and extra driving. Absolutely, there's always uh, people around and you have to be attentive to where you're gonna be driving yeah. and to make sure you're very, very slow in those, in those school areas, especially when you're approaching the, the, the school parking lot to the end of the school building. Those are the most busy areas for sure. For sure, is there anything else that the community should know or could know that I know it's just helpful for everybody this year? Well. I think just to be patient is, is one thing for sure. If everybody can just be a little bit patient when you come in, your, your parking spot may not be uh, convenient at the time that you get there, but mm -hmm. to ensure that you leave enough space for people to come in and out of their parking stall safely. And then if you're going to park on a street spot, to, to just be careful as you're driving and making sure there's nobody around you. So okay. to be extra cautious as you're watching the area around you and, and, and being aware that this is a school zone with children. Yeah. Um, and so we want to make sure we're, we're cautious at all times. Okay, perfect. Great. Thank I you so much. It. Thank you.